This one works in the following way. I set myself up as a, as a psychic uh, with the, all the necessary kind of psychic paraphernalia, crystal balls, whatever I, I fancy, to make it look credible. And uh, I put an advert in the paper saying the following, that uh, if you pay me £100, I'll use my psychic powers to predict whether or not your unborn baby will be a boy or be a girl. You don't need to go to hospital, I'll just be able to psychically tell whether or not your baby is a boy or a girl before you have any scans, anything like that. If my prediction is wrong, which it's not going to be because I'm really psychic and can do this, I'll make it up to you. I'll pay your, pay your £150 back. You paid me uh, £100, I'll give you back £150. That's your 100 quid plus £50 to make up for any inconvenience caused by my getting my psychic waves wrong. Now, suppose you're somebody who's interested in A, psychics, and B, knowing the sex of an unborn baby. How many of you would think that this seemed like a reasonably decent proposition? How many of you would see this as being a scam? And if so, why? Ah, sudden drop on the hands, but one or two of them. The way that we can work this through is by doing a little experiment. And for that, I need a couple of people to, to help me with this. I don't have hundreds of pounds. I've got 5p pieces. So can you sit, uh, sit over there? And can you sit over here? Right. OK, so I'm going to play the role of the psychic. And I want you to play the role of Mother Nature, OK? So we're going to decide whether or not the baby is a boy or a girl by throwing the dice. And this is just a normal dice. It's just a big normal dice, OK? So you can decide uh, if it's even, is that a boy or a girl? Boy. A boy, right, OK. So if it's even, it's a boy. I'll write that down in case we forget it. Even is a boy. And if it's an odd number, it's a girl. OK, right, so you've got to remember that. So you're going to ca call out the truth. OK, right. And you're going to look after the money, OK? Because you look like an honest kind of a person. Right. So um, you're going to, to play the role of, of an expectant father, OK? So you're coming along, and, uh, and I, I say, right, I'm going to predict that your baby is going to be uh, that. OK, that's my, my psychic prediction. Uh, that'll be uh, £100, please. So you're going to pay me, in this case, 10 pence, right, two fives. OK. So, truth dawns. Can you tell me whether or not what the, what the sex of the baby actually is? So it's a, well, look at that. I managed to predict that it was going to be a boy. Therefore, I keep that money. Thank you very much. You come along. You're the next expectant parent. I'm going to predict, I'm going to predict, okay, that. So can I have uh, my money? OK, thank you very much, my £100. And the truth is, the baby is a uh, three, which is odd, and a girl. Girl, got that right. Well done, me. Ooh, this is looking quite nice. Next, I'm going to predict it's going to be one of those. Can I have my money, please? Thank you very much. Right, and the truth is, three. And three is odd, girl. Oh, I said boy. Oh, I'm, I'm really, really sorry. So there's your money back. OK, so you can put it back into the kitty. I got that wrong. My, my wires must have been psychically crossed. OK, we'll do it again. So come along. Um, pay me my, my £100. Thank you very much. I think it's going to be one of those. Right. The reality is it's a... Uh, it's a boy. Boy again. And it continues like that. So, quite nicely, I seem to be accumulating a reasonable pile of uh, money here for writing the words boy and girl on a post-it note, which is uh, not bad. Has anyone spotted why this scam works and how it works? Yep, over there. You have a 50% chance of getting it right. So, um, if you get it wrong, you probably already have got it right like twice or once it. It's to do with probability. You're very, you're very, very close to it. There's a 50-50 chance that the baby will either be a boy or a girl. And in this case, it was done by rolling the, the dice, just the way of doing it. We could have tossed a coin, whatever. OK, 50-50 chance. And I'm just guessing. I'm just saying boy, girl, boy, girl, 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 boy, whatever I fancy. It's completely at, at random. So half the time I'll be right, 
half the time I'll be wrong. So this, this scam works because of the fact that, in effect, what you're doing is when you're giving people this wonderful £150 of compensation back, you're actually giving them mostly their own money. And people don't spot that because you've, you've done them a service. You've psychically guessed their, their baby, so you've kind of almost like paid them for that, even though it's a complete con because you're not actually doing any kind of service other than guessing boy or girl. So each time there's going to be a profit and that profit is going, to, is going to increase each time you get it right. And if you get it wrong, you're only losing a very small part of that profit. So over a period of time, because the probability, the 50-50 probability is in there, over a period of time, this scam will just generate massive amounts of money for you. Because each time you're getting it right, you get to keep all the money. When you're getting it wrong, you're only giving away half of the amount of money you got for getting it right. So probability is extremely important in understanding how a lot of these scams work.